many of the prophecies Christians identify as being uh, messianic prophecies, Jews don't see it. Uh, and and I'll, let's just look at a really um, uh, interesting, like a simple example. Um, so, and, and, and here, here's a prophecy that if I were a, a Christian, I would bring this as a prophecy about the coming of the Messiah. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 20. It says, the breath of our, li- the, the breath of our life, Mashiach Yehovah, the anointed of Yehovah, was captured in their traps. Now, no one considers this to be a messianic prophecy. And why does nobody consider this to be a messianic prophecy? As far as I know, right? Um, uh, Because here, Jeremiah is talking about the destruction of the temple, and the Messiah who is captured in their traps is understood by Jews to be um, the king of Israel. That is, and, and here we have to back up a bit. What does the word Mashiach even mean? Mashiach, Messiah, Christ, Christ is the Greek translation of Mashiach. It means anointed one. And the idea was that in ancient Israel, uh, before someone could be made king of Israel, the prophet would take a jug of oil, pour it on his head, and then he would be proclaimed to be the anointed one. That is, he was anointed as king over Israel. We have a beautiful scene where we hear about how um, uh, uh, God calls on uh, Elijah to anoint three different people. Right? One of them is Yehu, king of Israel. The other is uh, the king of Syria. And the third one is actually um, a, a prophet. Right? So we have an institution of Messiah, which isn't actually king, it's prophet. Shalom, Torah fans. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Tap the subscription button and the bell icon. And I promise to update weekly with in-depth biblical research. Be sure to download the new michaelrood.tv app for both mobile and home devices for even more commercial-free content.